Hi, this video is about ductal carcinoma in situ, which we call DCIS for short. DCIS is also known as stage zero breast cancer or non-invasive breast cancer, but most commonly it's called DCIS. DCIS is a type of cancer in which the cells that are cancerous do not leave the basement membrane within the ducts of the breast. In DCIS, the cancerous cells stay within the duct. So imagine in your basement, if you will, a pipe, and all the cancer stays within the pipe. It doesn't get through the pipe to get into the surrounding area or the normal tissue of the breast. Now, when you go to have surgery for DCIS, it's possible that the pathologist might find invasive cancer when originally you were thought only to have DCIS. It's not that common, but if you're very young, if it was palpable, if the DCIS could be felt by your doctor or by you, or if it was very high grade or very the cells were very active under the microscope at the time of the biopsy, it's possible that we could actually find invasive cancer when you have your surgery. Again, not very common. So if DCIS can't invade and can't spread to other parts of your body, why do you need to have surgery? Well, the prevailing thought is that left untreated, DCIS actually could eventually invade through the basement membrane and become invasive cancer. So that's why we don't recommend that you just have it watched, like surveillance or watchful waiting, like you might hear in other cancers. So most women will be advised to go ahead and have surgery. There are some studies looking at other approaches, but right now the standard of care is to have surgery. One thing to know about DCIS is we don't remove the lymph nodes or the lymph glands under the arm. So that's one surgery you don't need to have. So what kind of surgery should you have? Well, it depends on a couple things. One is your choice. What kind of surgery would you like to have? In general, women with DCIS can keep the breast and just have the DCIS removed and a normal rim tissue around it. So we take the tumor out and then we also take some normal tissue around it and get what's called a clean margin. And then that's it. So you still have what looks like a normal breast with a scar that will heal and flatten and fade over time. If there's a lot of DCIS and you have a relatively small breast, your breast may actually look better with removal of the whole breast called a mastectomy with or without reconstruction. That's something you can talk about with your surgeon. If you want to have a mastectomy with reconstruction because that's your preference, that's also an option for you. If you keep the breast and have a lumpectomy, breast, the DCIS can come back in the breast. It can be either DCIS again, or sometimes it can actually be invasive breast cancer. So what can we do to reduce that risk? Because nobody wants to go through this again. Now it's not a guarantee that it won't, but if you take hormonal therapy to decrease the risk, you can cut that risk by about half. So medications that are available to you are called tamoxifen or the aromatase inhibitors. Your doctor will talk with you more about this. If you keep the breast, the other thing that you'll be offered is radiation therapy. So I'm going to re review those options. Mastectomy removes the whole breast, then you would not need to have radiation therapy. If you keep the breast, radiation is part and parcel of keeping the breast. Now, some women can actually avoid radiation therapy. If you're older, if you had low-grade DCIS, not very active cells, if the margins were really wide, and if you're willing to take hormonal therapy to prevent or reduce the risk of another cancer, then you might be able to avoid radiation therapy. Now, this is another one of those decisions that you and your doctor will make. If you don't have radiation therapy now, you can always have it again later were the cancer to come back.
There's one more thing to know about with DCIS, and that is that if you have DCIS, you will want to give your doctor a complete family history. That is, let your doctor know about any cancer on both sides of your family, your father's side and your mother's side, and your aunts and uncles, cousins, kids, grandparents, any other cancer in the family, not just breast cancer, because we used to think DCIS was not associated with other cancer syndromes, but it can be, and this may play a role into what kind of surgery you want to have. I've really enjoyed talking with you about this today. If you like this video, you can click like and subscribe, and in the comments, let us know if there's something else you'd like me to tell you about.